I have been struggling to bring myself to my desk over the past few days. I just feel like this is going to be a big year for me. And as ever, once I start talking, the puppy makes her way up the stairs. So yes, I feel like this is going to be a big year for me. I feel I'm breaking out of the fear. I feel I'm gaining in confidence. I can feel, I, I can see that my platform here on YouTube, but, but particularly on Substack is growing. So I think, yeah, I think this is gonna be a big year. I intend to submit my book proposal soon. And as a result, I can feel myself withdrawing a little from my desk and wanting to stay in the safety of my bed. This is not a permanent thing, it's just because I'm, I can sense what is happening and I'm literally staying in my comfort zone, which is my bed. I'm still working, however, I've got my laptop there and I have my bag, my house handbag, this has been called. It's the bag that I use to basically take the contents of my desk around with me as I move around the house, as I go from my office to the settee, to my bed, it's just that I have everything that I feel is important with me at all times in my house. I know it sounds daft, but you know when you're carrying lots and lots of books around with you, it's just awkward. And add in a cup of coffee or a glass of water or both, and you've got, you know, spillages galore. So I thought I would show you today what is in my house handbag. I've done these sorts of videos before, but I've got lots of different things in my house handbag now. I've got my new writing journal and pencil case. I've got my morning pages, all that sort of stuff. So let's start. And I'm just thinking where I'm going to set you up as a camera. So bear with me. So the first thing I have is my writing journal. I have started this now. I continued with my last year's writing journal for a few days, weeks, where are we now? For a week or so into January. And that one is in here as well. And I say this is last year's journal. I started this in September last year. I have to say, this is completed now and I will do a flip through of this, possibly in the next video. And I have to say, so far the yellow one is a thicker one it's also got 120 gsm paper whereas this blue one only has 100 and i can see the difference which is a little bit frustrating and i found myself looking up new journals last night even though i've only just started this one but that is how particular i can be with the quality of the paper and if my ink bleeds through to the other side, I'm really not happy about it. But we will continue. But yes, this is from September to just the first week in January. And this is from January onwards. It's a lot thinner. So this one will not take me as long to complete. So I always carry my journals around with me. Right, the biggest biggest thing I have in my handbag, my house handbag, is this. It's A4 spiral bound and I got this from Sainsbury's in the UK, although it's made by Habitat. I got it some time ago so I don't know if I've, they've still got it and this has been sitting waiting for something to be done with it for for some time look how lovely and thick it is it's probably about an inch thick it's only 80 gsm paper it's got 384 pages and it's all lined and i'm using this for my morning pages now i can't really show you my morning pages because a they are dreadful writing and they are basically scraping away at the contents of my mind but also Julia Cameron, who devised Morning Pages in The Artist's Way, tells us not to show anyone as well. So how can I show you? 
there you go, it starts there. I aim to do about two pages a day. Julia Cameron recommends three, but I just find that after, well, after a, a page and a half, really, that my mind really comes to a stuttering halt. And I, I continue as much as I can, just scraping away at the corners of my mind. But this, I'm doing morning pages. I would like it to be a regular practice every single day. But I'm particularly doing it at the moment because on my Substack, we are doing a read along of The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron. If you're interested, it is not too late to come along and join us. We are basically doing one chapter every fortnight, every two weeks. Julia Cameron suggests a chapter a week, but we are spreading it out. We are taking our time with it. And so if you want to come and join us at the moment, we have literally just started week two. So you don't have a lot to catch up on and you have two weeks to do so. So yeah, if you really want to change your creative life this year, if you feel blocked, if you feel scared, if you don't even know what you want to do with your creativity, and you could be a writer, you could be an artist, you could be a YouTuber, you could be anything on the creative sphere, or even want, you might not even address yourself as creative. If you want to be creative, do come along. I'll link my Substack below. There is a lovely group of us now who are doing this, and it, it just helps being part of a community. It, it propels you, it motivates you. So yes, that is what we're doing, and that is why I carry my thick, book which is my morning pages around with me in my house handbag right the next thing i've got and it's not very practical to put in a handbag oops i have <laughs> this is essentially i've just taken it off my desk and my little plastic tub of washi tape plus prit stick plus there's a few pens and pencils there which could be in my pencil case but for some reason I've kept them in the tub so yeah this is all the washi tape that I possess there might be a few floating around I guess on my desk but this is all my washi tape and I like to carry it around with me is it a comforting thing maybe <laughs> I think that having my notebooks with me at all times is definitely a comfort thing. So then we have my pencil case. In my pencil case, I've got lots of black pens because they tend to go missing. And I like the, talked about these before, the Pilot V5 High Tech Point 0.5 pens. They are my favorite pen to write with. This one is a refillable one. I don't know if they still do these where you put the cartridge in, but I'm going to look, see if I can get any more cartridges because I like this. It's a little bit thicker and I like the, the weight of it in my hand. Also in my, my pencil case, I have lots of colored crayons. These black ones, which I find are the best ones for colouring in in my notebooks and these are Black Widow pencils and I also have the post-its of course I do Oop. whoopsie now the other things in my little side pocket I have some page markers some craft post-its craft are they called craft post-its more page markers some bigger page markers for when i have notes to write at the same time these aren't particularly brilliant because they peel off which is quite irritating and then oh i've forgotten about this <laughs> this is this is my new purchase and what I will probably do is a little demo of this to go over the top as I'm talking but it, essentially this is it prints out stickers 
because I'm, I'm, I've got myself a little project that I'm going to do in my journals and I saw somebody using this on TikTok and I thought I need that. There is inside you put in some paper and you connect it to your phone and on your phone you've got the app and there are a number of different layouts. There are a number of different layouts you can use to input your photographs from your phone and I use one that's divided into quarters and I print them out and basically I'm doing a photo a day and this is just my little pet project. I used to do a photo every day on Instagram and obviously I'm not on Instagram anymore so I just want to do it for my own joy and I'll start sticking them in my my journal. But yeah this is this is my new little compact sticker printer and um, yeah it's not brilliant in it's not brilliant quality photographs and I think I've already printed some out but I can't quite remember where I've put them so just bear with me ah yes they are they're in here so at the back of this notebook at the back of all my notebooks that I get I have some page markers but in this little envelope I have the first four photographs I took of 2024. So I've now cut them up into quarters which I used my new guillotine for which is very exciting but this is number one. It's the puppy in front of the fire. This one needs to be cut well actually as it's a sticker it doesn't really matter but this is number two that's me. I um, have been tutoring somebody with an inspector calls. So that's as well, that's how it was all set up on my on my table. Then we have number three, which is basically looking inside my my house handbag, and that was the book I was reading at the time, In the Market for Murder, which is a nice cozy murder mystery. And then we've got my laptop in front of the fire and that's exactly what I'm talking about. I've been working in various places around the house and not just, well, not really at my desk full stop. Um, so yeah, that's the first four pictures from 2024. And I'm going to put them back now inside this little envelope so I don't lose them. And I'm going to eventually, I'm going to stick them all on a double page spread in my writing journal and then now this I wouldn't normally have in my bag but I've just brought it from my bedroom down to my office and I thought oh I'll bring this with me this is a candle that my mum and dad gave me for Christmas and I don't know where they got it from it, oh cozyart.co.uk I've not used it yet but it's called old bookshop dusty tomes and leather bound books you can have a sniff as well and we'll see what it's not an overpowering scent actually it's quite a subtle one so that can go on my desk and then we have my diary which is from Papier and I have got the little pen holder on there as well I've done a, a video all about this and I've started to use this now so I won't show you the insides but yeah I'm really enjoying it. It's got nice smooth paper to write on, so I really do recommend this. And my daughter, I've just put in all her her school term dates in hers yesterday and various things she's got coming up at school. So now she's all organised as well and has got no excuse when she has no idea what's going on. A couple more pens. Just a few felt tips. This is my planning journal. Again, I have done videos setting this up. Momentum, motivation, confidence, 2024, goals, projects, YouTube, books, YouTube, Substack, January aims. Like I say, I've talked all about this in more detail on another video. Here are the projects that I've already completed this year. This was what I intended to do last week and I did but I didn't 
I didn't really set it up last week. I wasn't really in the right headspace yet. I've had a very slow start to January, but see, I'm more organized this week and this is where we are right now. And it's Tuesday today as I record this and I am, well, I'm doing a YouTube video that I haven't even put on, on my sticky notes. So I will organize that in a little while. But yes, I think I've done this one on a whim rather than, rather than planning it out, which is the way it goes sometimes. So yes, that's my planning journal. And then I think finally, what else is in my little pocket? Some more page markers, some more post-it notes. And then finally, it's quite heavy. We have a copy of The Artist's Way by Julia Cameron, which is what I was talking about earlier. And this is what we're doing in my Substack in the non-fiction book club, a lovely community read along. And we are, well, we've just started reading week two. I've only read one, two, three pages so far, or two and a half. And I've made a few notes on there, as you can see made some highlights and this is week one I think I say week one because it's called week one I should call it chapter one because we're doing it's fortnight number one really for us we are taking two weeks to do each one but that is how I've highlighted the page these are the bits that stood out for me I mean if you read it you might find different things stand out for you but this is what really spoke to me as I was doing it and she writes about morning pages and the artist date as well there's morning pages which she writes about and we have the artist date which is have I gone past it no it's there and that is something I am intending to do every week and so far for my artist date I've done a jigsaw puzzle and gone to see a string quartet so that is the contents of my my house handbag or my desk in a bag that I make portable so I can carry it around the house with me. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you again very soon.